Many believe that Area 51 houses alien technology, including crashed UFOs and alien spacecraft. The idea is that the US government is reverse engineering these technologies for its own use. There's also a theory that suggests the government conducted autopsies on aliens at Area 51. Examining extraterrestrial bodies recovered from alleged UFO crash sites. Today, we are going to debunk the mysteries that surrounds Area 51 in this episode of History World. What actually goes on in there and is it really a chilling spot for aliens? Some folks believe Area 51 is just where the USA works on really cool military gadgets. People often call it a black site because top secret projects happen there. And black means super classified. They named it Area 51 during the Vietnam War days. It's in a restricted area in Nevada, about 83 miles northwest of Las Vegas. Back in 1955, they started testing flights there. But what exactly goes on in there? now is a big mystery. But before we start talking about wild ideas, let's stick to what we know. Area 51 is a place where normal folks like us can't just walk in. It's restricted, but surprisingly, it's not like a fortress. You can drive on a dusty road nearby, but at some point, you'll see signs saying no entry. Those signs basically say, stop, if you go further, you might face serious consequences, even deadly force. They do patrol the area, but it's not as strict as you might think. Most likely, they'll just tell you to turn around or give you a fine instead of shooting at you if you accidentally wander in. One idea about Area 51 is pretty straightforward. People think the US does secret military stuff there. This includes testing new weapons that they are still working on. They keep it super hush hush because they don't want other countries to know what they're up to. You can't fly over it and flying a drone there is a big no-no. The place is covered in cameras and sensors. You can get close to the gates following a road called the Extraterrestrial Superhighway. Surprisingly, there's even an adult entertainment club nearby called the Alien Cat House. So, it's not as hidden as you might think. Back in the Cold War with the Soviet Union, the US needed a spot far away to test military stuff. The first thing they tested was a high-flying spy plane called the U-2 program. Locals started noticing strange things in the sky and pilots saw weird high-flying planes. That's when people began wondering if there were aliens involved. The government couldn't say anything, making UFO theories seem believable. Since then, Area 51 has been a hub for all sorts of hidden activities. You can find out about some of them in declassified documents like the secret building and testing of the birds of prey stealth aircraft in the 90s. There are many projects and even today they are likely building and testing aircraft in secret. The newest stuff happening there is a big secret but you can learn about past activities from declassified documents. An expert thinks they're working on things like fancy radio communication, powerful weapons, and lasers. Another conspiracy theory about Area 51 says it's where they mess with the weather. Before you get too carried away, the USA has had projects for controlling the weather, like Project Storm Fury. While these were harmless, some folks believe similar projects 
could be used for not so nice reasons. That's what the doomsday believers say, anyway. Now, why all the commotion? Some folks think Area 51 is not just a place for making planes and testing weapons, but a spot where the USA hides its biggest secrets, like where they supposedly faked the moon landings. But it's not the moon landings that grab the most attention, it's the idea of aliens. Ever heard of people saying they saw aliens in Roswell? Well, some think those aliens might have ended up at Area 51. Sounds wild, right? Especially if you haven't heard about a guy named Bob Lazar. He's a 59-year-old American engineer who claimed he worked on figuring out how flying saucers work. In 1989, on TV, he reveals secrets without showing his face, using a fake name. Lazar claimed he'd work on saucers from aliens in Reticulum's southern constellation on Earth for 10,000 years. These aliens, as per Lazar, used element 115 to power their spacecraft. Some doubt his story citing potential lies about school records, but Lazar asserts the government erased them with only his word as proof. He, a businessman without signs of mental issues, confidently states, I know what happened is true, no doubt about it, period. Among the wild stories, he seems more believable, as he has no apparent reason to fabricate Area 51's secret. No matter what really happened, his words started lots of talk about what's going on in there. Since then, many people, even without solid proof, claim the place has secret tunnels leading to warehouses filled with alien stuff and even captured aliens. But it's not all about green aliens taking a break on Earth. Some think a group called the Majestic 12 spreads alien stories to hide their real plan of taking over the world. Aliens are just a distraction. So, yeah, the US government is definitely working on some super experimental stuff in Area 51. And they keep it a secret for a good reason. You might have your own thoughts or more info on the conspiracy ideas, but we can't find any solid proof for the really wild stories. If you know something about Area 51 that we did not mention, tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching and like always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time. This is History World, signing off.